dear students already we have learned what are square numbers how to find square numbers and many more but now let's explore some interesting patterns in square numbers number 1 any positive odd number can be expressed as the difference of two consecutive square numbers after 1 3 3 is one odd number and 3 can be expressed as difference of two consecutive square numbers that is equal to 2 square minus 1 square next is 5 now 5 can be expressed as 3 square minus 2 square 7 7 four square minus 3 square Are you observing some pattern? Nine equal to five square minus four square. Five plus four that is equal to nine. Nine is divided in such a way that their sum, the five and four, the sum is nine. Now next, if you have observed this pattern, you can find what is the form as we can express eleven. as the difference of two consecutive square numbers find it next sum of consecutive odd numbers let us find sum of some consecutive odd numbers when we are adding two consecutive odd numbers we are getting two square when we are adding three consecutive odd numbers we are getting three square just like four odd numbers Four square, five odd numbers, five square. That means a perfect square is the sum of consecutive odd numbers starting from one. Here, six odd numbers are added starting from one. That means the resulting number is six square. Next, the digital root of a perfect square is either one, four, seven, or nine. Do you know what is the meaning of digital root? Digital root digit. That means a number is made up of digits. And when we are finding the sum of those digits, at last we are getting a single digit, and that is the digital root of that number. So the digital root of one square equal to one, two square equal to two, sorry four, and three square equal to nine. Here. these are the single digits so the single digits the digital root is also the same now 4 square equal to 16 that means 6 plus 1 equal to 7 so 7 is the digital root of 4 square 5 square equal to 25 that means 5 plus 2 equal to 7 so 7 is the digital root of 5 square 6 square equal to 36 that means 3 plus 6 is 9 so 9 is the digital root of Six square, seven square. That is equal to forty-nine. Nine plus four. That is equal to thirteen. Again, we have to add three plus one. That is equal to four. That means four is the digital root of seven square. In this way, we can find the digital root of any number. Now, let's check another number. Twenty-eight square. That is equal to seven hundred eighty-four. When we are adding the digits seven plus eight plus four, we are getting nineteen. And after getting nineteen, one plus nine that is equal to ten. Ten means one plus zero that is equal to one. Finally, we are getting one as the digital root. So, any numbers, any square numbers, the digital root is always either one, four, seven, or nine. Next. Pattern of four square numbers. Here, this is a pattern. The sum of three square numbers is the square of another number, and in this pattern, the third number is forming by finding the product of first and second, and the resulting number is the consecutive next number of the third number, third square. So. Let's discuss here. This first and second are two consecutive square numbers, and third number is the product of this first and second, and the resulting number is the next consecutive number of the third number. 
in this pattern we can continue Three and four, three square and four square are two consecutive square numbers, and third is the product of these two numbers. Now we are finding the result. We are getting the result as the next consecutive of the third square. This pattern also can be continued. Four square plus five square plus twenty square that is equal to twenty one square. Here in this pattern. third number is the product of first and second and the fourth <coughs> and the fourth square is the next square of third next difference between two consecutive square do you know what is the difference between two consecutive square numbers are you finding the squares and are you getting the difference no did not what you will do you have to just add the root numbers when you are Finding the two square minus one square, just you add two plus one. Next, three square minus two square, that is equal to three plus two, that is equal to five. Six square minus five square, that is equal to eleven. Just you add the root numbers. So the difference between any two consecutive square number is just the sum of the root numbers. Can you find now? Hundred square minus ninety nine square. Next, product of any two consecutive even numbers. When we are getting the product of any two consecutive even numbers and adding one, we are getting the square of the middle number. Here, in between two consecutive even number, the middle number is one odd number. and when we are finding the product of these numbers and adding one to that number we are getting the square of the middle number this pattern also going on next 4 next 6 into 8 plus 1 that is equal to 7 square 8 into 10 two consecutive even numbers plus 1 that is equal to 9 square 10 into 12 120 Plus one, one hundred twenty-one. That is the square of eleven. So one added to the product of any two consecutive even numbers is the square of middle odd number. Now, in odd number also, if we are getting the product of any two consecutive odd numbers, just you add one, you are getting the square of the middle number. Five into seven, two consecutive odd numbers. If you are adding one, then you are getting the square of the middle number. So one added to the product of any two consecutive odd numbers is the square of middle even number. Next, already you have learnt square of odd number is one odd number, and square of an even number is always an even number but do you know when we are dividing any even square number then it is exactly divisible by 4 and what about odd number when any odd square number is divided by 4 it leaves a remainder one always another this interesting So keep watching keep learning thank you